Before I start, I just want to say I haven't cleaned my pantry in months, and you probably haven't either, so don't judge me. So today I'm going to tell you guys the story of when Danny and I moved into our first home. But before that happened, when I was pregnant, we were renting out a room, and we shared a bathroom with four other people. We stayed there until Damien was around four months, and then moved into a guest house on the same property. We were both so excited. To others, it seemed very, very small, but honestly, it was more than enough for us. There was no actual kitchen, no microwave, no stove, and the fridge was outside, but that didn't bother me. I told Danny, no hay pedo. Un little portable stove y con eso tengo. And he did just that. Problem solved. About a week later, he brought home a microwave that was going to be thrown away because it was outdated. I was like, what? <laughs> to us, it looked brand new. I remember I helped Danny install it that same day. I don't know how I did it, but I was carrying the microwave. It was so freaking heavy. I didn't care. I just, <laughs> I just wanted it installed. But we did it together and it was actually pretty fun. Another thing is we didn't really have a lot of cabinets to put our food in. So one day he came home with a huge kitchen cabinet that was given to him at work. And I was like, oh, heck yeah, this is perfect. Although I didn't have the biggest kitchen or the nicest appliances, I was happy. Genuinely happy. Most of my pans, pots, and knives were given to me by an aunt whom I love very, very much. Actually, when we first moved in together, we got our first set of plates from Goodwill. It's the blue plates that I always have in my videos. I am never letting go of those. I don't care how many people tell me that they don't really match with the rest of my stuff. A mí me vale madres. They're mine <laughs> and not yours. A lot of things were given to us for free by people who will forever hold a special place in my heart. Sometimes when people would come visit us, they would look around and say, this is where you cook? And I'd probably say, yes, this is where the magic happens. Never once did we complain. We were blessed to have a roof over our heads and food on our table every single night. Although it would get really tough at times, I would always tell Danny, we will get through this together. And we did, and we will continue to do so. As I'm cleaning this pantry, I can't help but think about where we started. Although we're far from where we want to be, we've definitely come a long way. When we moved into this apartment, I know, I be in it waterworks. Okay, so like I was saying, when we moved into this apartment, the first thing that I went to was the kitchen. To me, it was perfect. It was like more than I could ever wish for, you know? It has so much cabinet space, a pantry, a dishwasher. Although we don't really use the dishwasher, but I still got excited because I was like, ooh, ooh, drying rack. So whenever I read comments like your food probably tastes bad because you're using an electric stove or you need a bigger fridge or your kitchen is really small, do you wish you had a bigger one? I immediately think of our first home. I cooked some bomb ass meals and I didn't need any of that. I've realized that no matter what you do, people will always have something to say. As long as you're happy with yourself and you're happy with your life, que te valga madre what everybody thinks so this is what my pantry looks now it's very nice and clean i hope you guys really enjoyed my story time see you guys in the next video bye